This is the video about the annul behaviors. This is my green female and my one brown annul. He actually is able to stay over here in the basking spot for most of the time. He's pretty much let free reign throughout the terrarium. And he doesn't get challenged by the green annul over here. Now, what I was talking about was, so where this center post is, all the way back over to the basking area here, is basically what the green and old male has claimed as his, and he really doesn't mess with any of the other green and alls or the brown female and alls, but he does if the brown and all here comes anywhere near there, he will challenge him, and they've actually fought a couple of times to chase each other away. Now, what I was talking about was, so this is the area that the Browns have taken over as their own. Originally, when I set up the terrarium, and it's a 220-gallon terrarium, when I first, and actually it's a vivarium, when I set up the vivarium, I actually had a running waterfall, but there were some things that failed on it, so it's not really running water anymore. But the brown anoles have actually stayed with on these rocks the entire time that they've been in the tank, and the tank has been set up with them in it for about a year and a half now. Now, at nighttime, what I was talking about is they actually go onto these plants, and this is where they spend the night. All the brown and alls do. They gather together. They stay on the plants. The brown, the male brown and all will be on this branch or he'll be on this branch. But he basically has it set up where he's able to watch everything that's going on. And all the females in here actually gather in these plants. Now there are... There are four females and then two brown and all males. And then there's the two green, two green and all females and one green and all male. Now, the other interesting thing I forgot to mention earlier as well is this other green female and all, for whatever reason, she's, and since she's been in the tank, she actually hangs out with all of the brown and alls on the waterfall, and she really doesn't go near the basking area or go to the other green and alls at all, except for at night when it's time for sleep. Now, so far, I do have two captive bred babies in here. This is the actual youngest one that just hatched maybe a couple weeks ago. But she's doing very well, she's growing, and she's actually, when she was first here, or when I first found her, she was actually in these plants, and she was very afraid to come out and make an appearance. But as she's gotten bigger, she's actually going more onto this tree. <clears throat> I'm not sure what else. Oh, and here is the other male, the third male. He's actually new. He's only been in here maybe two, three weeks at this point, along with two other females. And he is actually pretty much given free reign to go wherever he pleases. He pretty much leaves everybody alone. He does your typical male brown and all patterns where he'll show the dewlap occasionally and he'll go for the females to try and mate with them. Uh, I've actually had several terrariums before in the past. This is actually the first time I've ever had anything like this where they've become somewhat tribal and territorial. When I had brown and alls before, I was able to captive breed babies, and the place where I got them from was actually the same captive breeder that I got this time, got them from this time. Now... When I'd gotten them before from the captive breeder, I think maybe I'd gotten a couple from PetSmart. 
but the rest I got from another online breeder who's pretty reputable and allows you to be able to, for the most part, sex what you want. So you're pretty much knowing what you're going to have. So technically there shouldn't be any surprises. Now, what was funny about this, and it was the same tank setup, but the brown and old den actually, when I'd had a male before, he would actually eat the captive bred babies. This has not happened in this case. This so as you can see with these two brown and all, so this is the original male and female of the group. So I've noticed that if they're like this, the little baby should be somewhere around in here. I don't have my flashlight on me right now to really show because the little baby blends into the background, but they are very protective of the babies as well as the two new females which again I've not really seen anything like this before I'm not really sure what else to add as far as behaviors because these are just things I've noticed and just from what I've seen in the past that this is all something very new before I've just seen them and they were territorial and whatnot, but not doing anything groupish like this. There, I mean, there is some kind of a hierarchy to them.